Hey folks, how you doing? I wanna show you before I'm completely dead today because I haven't been this burnout from working, I don't even remember. Really, really tired, didn't even want to do anything today. But uh, I'm sick, I'm sick with this, I just cannot not do anything. It's always tempting. So I went to the shop in the morning and uh, cleaned up a couple of these, uh, just the keychains, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Because mainly I did because uh, I did my first auction on Instagram actually. Because I did the Sharky, a special one, really nice one. It's gonna be actually the last that will be for public sale for a while until I actually get more supplies and have them cut, which might be might be quite a while. But I did the pretty fancy one. You already see that it has the shade, which means that it actually has a cutting edge. And I did the auction on Instagram. And uh, it went up so quick, so fast, that I definitely didn't expect that. So I already started adding like a bunch of different goodies to the, to the package. But I want to show you what I did actually. So here it is. You see that it has a lot more things going on than the, the, those that I saw yesterday. So you have a regular edge on it. I mean it's a steep grind. It's kind of like a pry bar grind. But it has the actual edge on it. It's sharp, you know, it has the carbonized other side. But it is sharp, it will cut, it will, what is it, let me see, but that's regular like thick paper. But uh, let me see, it just, just barely, I mean it's a tenon with the carbonized edge. I know that's why one of the reasons I never like carbonized edges, but they are more durable, they will last a little longer. But. It can just just slice phone book paper, so it is sharp, definitely sharp for this little sucker, especially with such a steep edge. But you see the two, it's actually three tone anodizing. You have the blue, which is peel plight on the flats, and also kind of that bronzish on the sides, or also peel plight because it, it helps against scratching. You have those gills, you have the eyes, and you have the little hole pattern and you have the teeth there and you also have little scallops for like your fingers also kind of like the one on the top works for a painter grip just a design feature all you know done by hand on the grinder even the gills are done by uh, on the grinder the holes are drill press and uh, the teeth are hand and dremel so a lot of hand work went into this a lot of steps back and forth with the analyzing combining the analyzing and the holes are actually goldish uh, and the log logo and the small little holes are gold analyzed so you have blue uh, bronzish and gold in the for that and the edge is also gold it has this simple but very functional school sheet just clicks in nice and secure click and the carabiner you know exactly like the purpose i meant but the original i you know i don't want to have the edges on them but you know what, I might consider doing them with the edges because the shade wasn't such a big deal to make. It was easier than I expected. So I might do them with the actual edges in the future. I think that's going to be pretty cool. So that's that. I wanted to show you just a really cool one. If you're interested, you know, it's it's, it's pretty high up now. I think it's pretty expensive at this point. But hey, that's, that's one thing, like, I never really want to do the auctions, but, you know, why not sometimes? Especially I think that all the custom, you know, very desired knife makers should do the auctions instead of letting the third pe third person getting rich on their work. I just think it's unfair and I, I'm not considering myself like, you know, desired that I don't do the auction just for that. It's just, I don't know, I just want to try it. But I do believe that the famous knife makers, the well, very, very desired knife makers should, should do auctions and not get, not get any hate for it. Because if people are willing to pay such a crazy money, what you see them pay on the secondary markets for some knives, why shouldn't the maker get that money? I think, I honestly think that he should, you know, regardless of which maker it is. I just think that it would be the most fair. And the new thing is, uh, I said this yesterday, and it cured and I, as much as I was tired, I really wanted to do it. So I finished the handles on this and grind, I might have to go back to the grind a little bit just to clean it up even more. It's nice and shiny now, but there are some spots that I could clean up a little better. I'll see, I'll talk to Sam what he thinks about it. There's just some, the, the satin on the top is, could be a little finer. You see along the spine, the spine is rounded off, 
I just modded the sheet for it, it's not done yet, but the Kydex is modded, it's gonna be two piece takedown. So rounded spine and the handle is something, I don't think I've ever seen this done. You have that, remember that hard hard wood, what I thought was black palm, but it isn't black palm, but it is something very very hard, very strong. So that is as a liner and then you have that layered, multi-layer carbon fiber on top and carbon fiber pins. And I think it came out pretty cool. I had an idea of how it's gonna look when it's done because I know how the contouring of my handles will, you know, what the end results will be in the shapes. So I kind of had an idea. I just didn't know how, how the materials will work together, but I think they work. It's a nice combination of the, you know, the modern materials and the old school wood. I like it. The shapes there, just the shapes of that little island. It looks almost like an inlay, you know? But it isn't, it's just the layer, ex exposing the layers, the way I shape the handles. Super, super comfortable, the wood is nice and grippy even when it's polished. I like that grain in that wood, look at that. Just nice, simple, but like dark brown, darkish brown, with the pretty cool layers. And obviously my regular, it doesn't have the edge yet, so... Nice. Sham not chamfering, shaping of the handle, the swell on the end, swell in here, swell in here, swell up front for the multi-position grip. Nice, nice, secure handle, I like it a lot. And this one is a little special because when I was playing with the stamp back then, before the heat treat, this one has stamp Gauco Knives Excalibur on the tank, on the top of the tank, so I think that's pretty funny. Pain in the ass though, because you have to be really careful when you're copying the, the tank for the scales, when you're cleaning up the scales. You have to be really careful not to grind in. <laughs> Some letters are already like almost starting to disappear just because I wasn't careful enough, but you can still see what it says nice and clear. But it's not fun really. So let me know what you think guys. I know the owner, the future owner already, he likes it. I talked to him, he saw the pictures. So I'm pretty excited. Like I said, never seen such a thing. Feels great in the hand, nice, nice shapes. And I think it's a cool look to that wood and carbon fiber you know not the bolsters not not the inlays and stuff like that it's just kind of my my take on it on combining materials so let me know what you think guys thank you for the watching thank you for all the support take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself i'm gonna take a nice big rest <laughs>